Wisconsin Sens playoff fever will ramp up today. The Senators' quest for the Stanley Cup will officially kick off with a rally at 1.30 this afternoon at Ottawa City Hall. The Sens flag will be raised and Mayor Jim Watson will proclaim Sens Army United in Red Days. You're encouraged to wear your Sens jersey or something red for that matter to show your support for the Sens. Ottawa opens their first round playoff series against Montreal Thursday night. An Ottawa teen says she was punched in the face and assaulted during an attempt to recruit her into an alleged teen prostitution ring. The 17-year-old girl will be back on the stand today at the trial for the three accused girls. She says she met the oldest of the three accused at an East End probation office a couple of months before she was forced into prostitution. After hanging out with the accused, the girl says she tried to go home, but was punched in the face and forced into a car with two 40-year-old men. She said a man forced her to give him oral sex, and then she was delivered to a second man's home in Gatineau later that night. A teenager alleges a pair of Ottawa police constables slammed a homeless man's face into the concrete unprovoked. 19-year-old River Doucette took the stand on the first day of the assault trial for Constables Tan Tran and Colin Bowie. Doucette says she watched the officers pick up the man off the street in Sandy Hill and then drove him face first into the concrete. She says she never saw Hugh Steyer say anything aggressive or make any aggressive movements. The trial resumes today. The first-degree murder trial for Luca Magnata will begin in September of 2014. Magnata appeared in a Montreal courtroom yesterday as the judge set the date for the jury trial. He's accused of murdering and dismembering university student Lun Jin last year. Magnata's legal team is asking the court to downgrade the charge to second-degree murder. A powerful explosion in the Syrian capital has killed at least 13 people. <laughs> No one has claimed responsibility for the explosion in Damascus. Syrian TV says that the blast was caused by a terrorist bombing. The explosion happened one day after the country's prime minister narrowly escaped an assassination attempt in the heart of the capital. One person has been arrested in the murder of a Canadian in Haiti. 62-year-old Richard Joyal was shot and killed outside a bank in the capital of Port-au-Prince last Thursday. Police have said Joyal had withdrawn $1,000 from a bank before he was shot. He was a member of a Catholic religious order near Quebec City. Female DNA has been discovered on one of the pressure cooker bombs used in the Boston Marathon bombings. The FBI says they found female DNA on a fragment of the bomb. Experts say it could have come from a victim, someone who handled the bomb, or possibly a co-conspirator. CNN is reporting FBI agents visited the Rhode Island home of suspect Tamerlan Tsarnaev's in-laws and carried away several bags. He was killed in a gun battle with police while his brother has been charged. And Remax Canada predicts luxury home sales in Ottawa will pick up this spring after a slow start to the year. A new survey shows 70 properties priced in excess of $750,000 were sold between January and March this year. That's down 19% from the same time in 2012. The most expensive home sold in Ottawa this year was a $1.9 million renovated Cape Cod home in Rockcliffe Park. A boutique condo unit sold at $1 million.